Police say it happened at around 4.30 this afternoon. A car turning right onto Route 111 hit another vehicle, pushing it onto oncoming traffic. The result? A head-on crash that left a 69-year-old female passenger dead and the drivers of the three cars in the hospital. That is a, it, it is a high-speed road, uh, Route 111, and that's a dangerous intersection. And unfortunately, in the, in, throughout the years, we've had some serious motor vehicle accidents there. Route 111 has a speed limit of 50, but people who live around here say they see cars going much faster. And unlike other intersections in the area, this one has no traffic light. It is a very busy intersection, very busy road. Uh, I'm honestly surprised that there's not a stoplight there. There's a, a stoplight at every single intersection except this one. Um, at the very least, maybe a blinking yellow light. Bad drivers. I can say it any other way. Either someone's trying to jump out or jump across the street. Um, people just aren't courteous right there. I don't know why. This is a little section right there. But people are, are in too much of a rush all the time. While neighbors hope to kickstart a way to make the intersection safer, investigators say they're speaking with the driver accused of causing this crash. The operator of the Honda did not suffer any injuries. Uh, he was medically cleared from the scene. Uh, we're taking some investigative steps with him. Uh, at this time. We've also uh, working with the Rockingham County uh, County Attorney's Office to see what if any charges will be filed in this accident. As police continue their investigation, they are asking any witnesses of this accident to come forward. Now, this area of Route 111 was closed, but it looks like they are getting ready to reopen it, so it should certainly be ready for the morning commute. We're live in Salem, Naoko Funayama, WMUR News 9.